YouTube, Susan here again, and today I have a quick video for you. Uh, how to set up the software from the CD uh, that you got with your Canon PIXMA MG3520 3-in-1 Wi-Fi uh, printer. I have had a lot of questions and I thought since I reloaded my computer, I thought I'd do a quick little video to walk you through it. Uh, I am running Windows 10 and so that's what this looks like on Windows 10. Um, if you've got a, a previous version of Windows it's gonna look very similar. Okay uh, now as I said my printer is already set up through my Wi-Fi uh, connection so it's it's present on my computer but I have not reloaded the software yet and there are a lot of features on the software that, that are worth putting on your computer and some are not so much. I'll, I'll uh, point out which ones I choose and why. Anyway, so you start off, you put your CD in your drive and you click on it and it pops up this window here. PIXMA MG3500 series, okay? Now, um, as I said, this is, it's already on my computer so it will know that. Uh, when it goes to apply the settings. Uh, so you pick your place of residence. We're in Canada, so it's pre-selected. Canada again. There you go. Now, software installation list. These are the items of software that you can install from the disk. Now, if you mouse over each one, it will tell you what they are. The MP drivers are necessary to print documents and scan images, so you definitely need that one. Check that Check that one. The user's manual uh, explains how to use the machine and supplied software. Uh, troubleshooting info, blah, blah, you know. It takes 10 megs of space. Now, if you're, if you're lacking on space, you can safely uncheck this because as long as you keep your CD handy, you've always got it to put on later. Uh, my printer helps you resolve printing problems such as smudged printing. 14 megs. Well, that's kind of handy to have on there in case you need it. Um, again, you can uh, safely choose not to do that because if, if you've got the disk with you, you can always pop it in later if you need it. Uh, my image garden. You can import photos and use them to create and print personalized items such as collages, cards, calendars. You can also print borderless photos and correct enhanced images with simple steps. Use together with quick menu to generate recommended and recommendations from saved photos. Now this I put in, it's 680 megs worth, but it is handy to have in conjunction with the quick menu um, to have handy at any point in time. So I put that in and of course I put in the quick menu to go with it and that is very handy to have on the desktop to fire up your computer, uh, your printer and uh, print or scan images or whatever so that's handy to have on there um, so I, I put the quick menu on now Easy Web Print X uh, allows you to cut por portions of web pages and print them in your own layout it appears on your browser as a handy toolbar. Internet Explorer 7 or later is required. This one is 60 megs in size. And this one I find, for me personally, is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I don't like extra toolbars and I don't like, you know, junking up my browser if I don't need to. And, and I personally don't use this feature. If you do, leave it checked, but I don't. So I, I uncheck that. XPS drivers. Suitable for printing from application software that supports XPS printing on Windows Vista or later. MP drivers must be installed correctly. MP drivers are up here. They are going in. Uh, the XPS driver. 130 megs worth of space. I don't normally use it. So um, as it says it's for um, application software 
that supports it. So I, I don't normally use it, but um, if you do, check mark that box and put that in too. You can select all or you can clear all. So my total space going to be used is two uh, is 980 meg, uh, which is totally acceptable to me. I have lots of space. Okay, uh, but these are what's important to me are those three, especially. Uh, as I said, if you have the CD handy, you can always go back and use the user's manual and all that. So we click next it says estimated installation time five to ten minutes okay we click next okay and it pops up a license agreement for Canon products yeah 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 I agree all that <laughs> don't we all do this anyway click yes uh, please allow all install wizard processes um, Firewall antivirus may show alert dialogs during the installation. Please allow installation to proceed by selecting an option such as permit, allow, yes, unblock, whatever. Let it go through. So, click next. And it's going to go to work. About six minutes to completion. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is stop the video here and I'll be back when it's done its thing and we'll go from there. Okay, and we're back. Uh, it took about five, six minutes um, to install all of the stuff I asked it to install. It will take a little longer if you ask for all of it. Um, now what you come up with is this screen and it said printer is detected checked it off print head alignment recommend recommended um, if the printout contains misaligned lines or not satisfactory aligning the print head may resolve these problems um, that is just a recommendation if your printout is fine don't worry about it setups completed the product is now ready to use click next uh, extended survey program I usually don't agree to these as long as it's working I don't care okay installation completed successfully press exit now it takes you to the internet um, for the web manual okay now useful functions available you can read through all of this it will as long as you're connected to the net it will bring you here and you can explore this for yourselves I won't take time on this video um, okay we can close that now this is the quick menu in the corner of the screen uh, it is handy for all of these features because it's a one-click launch thing um, you can minimize the icon down to one little thing in the corner or you can open it okay um, now you can mouse over and explore each one of these icons and click on it it does not hurt to play with these icons and learn all about the printer and what it can do um, if it's not something you like you can simply X out of it so there is no problem with doing any of this on your own time I wanted to keep this video as short as possible so I will leave it to you to explore further up here in the corner is the image um, display and basically what it does is cycle through slideshow kind of thing um, there is a setting button transition transition effect you can fade slide in zoom move uh, display the entire image or display based on the short side of the image medium fast or slow um, display image display at startup if you uncheck this it'll go away okay um, so we just go okay 
and we can X out of there and it won't pop up again until I reinitialize initialize that box. Anyway, that's all there is to it. The drivers are in for everything it needs to function properly. The quick menu is in the corner of your desktop for handy um, launching of features and for settings for printing and scanning and everything else is all in here at your fingertips. So I hope this has helped uh, doing this little walkthrough for you and uh, I have four other videos on this printer. Um, unboxing, follow-up review, a viewer requested scanner help and how to change the ink tanks. So I will put links for them in the description box of this video just so you can handily find them. And uh, thank you for watching and if you haven't yet clicked subscribe, click like, help me out, give me a little support. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.